Hello, welcome back to Man Cave Hobbies. So today's video is how to update the SharkBite system. We just had a major firmware come out and everybody's going to want to update. Some guys are saying they're bricking their, uh, their VRX units and so on and so forth. And then some guys are getting the system and they're wanting to do that right away. They want to update that firmware. And yeah, and, and some people just get nervous about firmware because you can brick things. Fortunate, Carl at DiviMath was smart enough to make it so if you do brick the VRX, there is a way to get out of it. Um, and I don't think you can really brick a VTX, so I don't know. So let me show you the proper way of doing this. I know these steps seem kind of redundant for some of us, but you know what? Everybody has different skill set, okay? So I'm just going to start from the beginning. If you just got this system, make sure to plug it in your goggles. Make sure your USB is, or your uh, HDMI is plugged in. And make sure you have a fully charged battery especially when you're updating the firmware because if you stop in the middle of it you will brick the VRX and then you have to go through a whole nother pain in the ass procedure to get it unbricked. So make sure everything's plugged in, make sure you have a full battery and then when you're plugging in your goggle it's always good to plug in the VRX first and then the goggles. Okay, So you want to fire it up and make sure that you have the shark bite welcome screen and also the screen where it's scanning for a VTX. If you don't have that, that means there's something wrong with your goggles. If you have a black screen, it means it's probably, if, especially if it's a, a fat shark goggle like an HDO or an HDO2, it, it means it's not in HDMI mode. So you have to turn off the little switch on the bottom to turn off your uh, analog receiver and then on the top menu you have to get into the HDMI mode. If it's a blue screen, it usually means that it's not connected, so the HDMI is not properly connected. Um, once that's up and done and you, and you can confirm that the system's up and running for you, then the next step is to get an HD or a SD card. So some SD cards come pre-formatted, some don't. This one did. And you don't have to remove the HDMI cable every time. You can just fold it in like this, and then you can just take the chip out. Um, so when you, get an, when you get an SD card, what you want to do is you want to insert it into the goggles, fire up the VRX for about a minute, and then unplug it, and then plug the card into your computer and see if it has a folder structure on, on the main root of the drive. I'm going to show you a picture of it right here. Those are the kind of folders you should be seeing. If you see those, that means that the card has been formatted correctly. So at that point, what you want to do is you want to download the firmware. The firmware is properly marked. So if you have the Whoop board, you want the Whoop board um, firmware and, of course, the, uh, the, the VRX firmware, the receiver firmware. Um, once you get those two files, you want to unzip them. You can unzip them straight to the SD drive itself. Um, that's fine. And you'll end up with two folders. Inside those folders are files. So the first file I want you to access is the file for the VTX. That's the thing in your quadcopter for those of you who don't know. And go ahead and put that on the root part of your SD card. When you come back to the bench, you want to plug in your VTX into your goggles with the chip installed. You do not have to plug a battery in. Do not plug a battery into your quadcopter. Or if you just have the, the VTX on the bench, do not put power to it. The VRX automatically just updates. It doesn't need power. Um, put your chip in, and then once again, fire up the VRX, fire up your goggles, and you'll be able to see that there's a progress bar going across there, and it'll tell you when it's complete. That's it on that. Okay? Go in and unplug everything. Unplug your VTX. Remove your chip again here, your... SD card and put it into your hard drive once again. Now this time I'm going to show you here you want to put the other files for the VRX. There's many different files for the VRX. Now when you're done updating you notice that the files that you're updating disappear off of your SD card um, except for two files. Those two files are just in case you do brick the VRX you can get it back. Um, so once that's done of course you just plug in your VRX, you plug in your goggles, and it takes three to four minutes sometimes. So you just gotta kinda watch it, pay attention to it. It'll tell you when it's complete. Um, it'll say goodbye or whatever, but wait. 
I mean, even if it seems like it's taking forever for whatever reason, just wait until you see that. Do not unplug the power before you see where it says it's done. Okay? Don't do it. And that's it. So once you're done with that, the files are already off of the card. You don't have to do anything else with the card. It's ready to go. It's ready to record. Now, if you're doing your um, OSD in Betaflight, there's a couple ways you can do it. You can just keep plugging it into Betaflight and guessing and then plugging the battery in and then, you know, looking through your goggles, the whole nine yards to see if you got it all lined up. What I like to do is I have a small fan and I just, I just put the small fan so it's blowing over the top of the VTX on my quadcopter. I plug a battery in, usually an oversized battery, so I don't, you know, I don't over discharge the battery that I have. And then I just do it in real time. I plug, I plug the uh, um, FC straight into the Betaflight, open up the OSD screen, and I play around with the elements as I'm checking my goggles and seeing, you know, as soon as you save, it's going to show up that you, you did some changes. And that's the best way that I can think of to adjust your OSD. So that's how you update the SharkBite firmware. If you like this uh, video, please give me a thumbs up, please subscribe. The next video I got coming out is, is one that's kind of concerning. It's about uh, SkyZone and the Cobra X and how they stole the optic engine. I mean, straight up just stole it from Fat Shark, the Fat Shark Scouts, which is patented. So Fat Shark is going, well, it's not, it's not actually Fat Shark anymore. It's Red Cat, which is an American corporation. And they're asking resellers, hey, don't be selling these things. You know, especially in the United States here, we have patents. So I just, uh, that's my next video. I'm going to show some proof of that along with the Fat Shark patent that covers the, the goggle module, the actual optic engine, and explain it. Stay tuned.